so you must uh, if uh, like this is a long program you must have heard quite a bit of youth and uh, development so uh, some of it might be uh, a repetition because can't avoid certain things and big plan also because i didn't witness other people's presentation and also it's uh, most of the thing it appears for you people it's like you know you, you know it uh because we all we all like we all pass through our youth and some of us are still in youth uh so like like many things we have done and we have seen we have heard uh, so uh, it that appears like you, you you know certain things so uh, so it will be like a so it, for those kind those for those people who who are aware about this it might be a refresher kind of a thing so uh, i'll try to do uh, uh go go slow as much as possible so if you have any have any doubt as sir told you can put it in the chat and take it up at the like end of the presentation so i'm not going to define because i think i hope somebody would have already defined what is a uh, you uh, what is uh, so i just uh, i'm sharing now okay uh, hope you can see my sharing right yes sir yes sir okay. yeah thank you okay I think is yeah okay fine okay uh, I'll stick to the topic I'll try to as much as possible don't go try don't go try to go beyond it this is the topic because uh, adversity is faced by Indian youth even though uh, we are psych a psychological aspect with psychology but but this aspect spans more than just psychology or social work or so. that kind of i think it spans economics policy making and many aspects so i try to bring in as much as possible and address it okay uh, first to talk about challenges and adversities adolescence youth uh, 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 because i don't i'm not sure uh, much people or anybody has covered this area so uh, just one second yeah okay so when you talk about adolescence adolescence is a age uh, somewhere between like 11 to 19 uh, if you take youth it varies quite a bit uh, youth can go between 11 to some people say 25 some, some even say 35 uh, it will be a slight an extension of it but again let's not go about uh, uh, what exact exact definition what is the age basically we can think about the young population okay so i'll start from adolescent how they are different adolescent for example if you notice the changes uh, they notice in terms of uh, body like body changes happen uh, facial hair comes in uh, some of the like secondary sexual characteristics happens voice change pimples come in physical growth will happen the uh, the chest will be broadened for male females will have their own uh, like body changes some of the important things about this kind of a thing that the importance of uh, self like for example looking in a mirror uh, importance of uh, looking good increases how they look good in front of others in from like women uh, girls usually look up and looks boys look at usually uh, basically how the society dictates they follow that for example girls is different boys is different there's nothing as right or wrong here it's basically what uh, uh, usually follow and boys who look at start looking at the mirrors uh, friends becomes important too much importance in this stage compared to earlier and later on in the life at the same time some of the thing is uh, the sleep pattern affects uh, uh, most of you have seen the children complaining that parents complaining we get complaints from the parents that children don't sleep early in the late they sleep very late uh, um, and uh, they wake up very late so this is one of the important complaints and has quite a bit of repercussion in terms of adolescence and also in youth how they function and all those things because what this is not a just complaint because it's happening in their biology so what's happening is happening in the biology is uh, uh, with, because one there's a neurotransmitter called hormone called uh, melatonin okay melatonin secretion is associated with sleep so when the melatonin in the brain starts secretion it it's people start sleeping and also melatonin is quite affected by the blue light people uh, light or uh, any light or especially the blue light what we see in terms of computer in terms of mobile and all those things why i am telling this because you might have to co- you might uh, you might need to counsel somebody in the future so all this information now quite becomes important uh, plus apart from this also adolescence is late it like starts secreting little bit late so because of this secretion late uh, like adolescents or young adult, youth young youth 
they sleep late because they sleep late because you're supposed to get at least seven to eight hours of normal average sleep so they get up late uh so that that's one of the sleep issue problems that's a, but it, what happens in the current scenario is uh colleges and the colleges colleges schools and colleges start early say some six or seven o'clock eight o'clock and all what happens because of that they have to get up early so they sleep late and they have to get up early so what will happen in this scenario so sleep becomes less. sleep is associated with lot of issues okay sleep is very very important for all of us sleep and dreaming uh with so without sleep and dreaming our brain doesn't function normally our body doesn't function normally it has associated with lot of cardiovascular diseases and other mental mental health conditions also mental illness also so sleep is very important normal sleep what happens in the body is if it doesn't get sleep per se it's usually in once in few days more it's called sleep dead so uh what happens when you already said they're sleeping late and getting up early to go to college schools and colleges and work they're not getting that average sleep sleep waters because of lack of sleep uh, some of the important important first thing they get irritable lack of sleep is directly associated with irritability uh, anger issues and later on other lot of other issues in terms of cardiovascular i already told you in terms of ment- some of the mental health conditions uh okay so in mental health conditions so sleep becomes very important so one of the advices and other thing is reduce the blue light okay the blue light consumption now uh, i'm talking about mobile internet addiction so as much as possible uh, one or two hours before going to sleep they have to reduce the blue light because it's quite harmful for the uh, sleep because it's clearly research has shown that i forgot to put the slide in this research has clearly shown that blue light especially emitted by computer and mobile screen like it delays the secretion of melatonin in the brain which causes sleep okay that's becomes very sleep is very important and one one study in us found out that delaying the school and colleges if you possible you can go and talk, talk to your school and colleges delaying the school timing by 1 hour in the morning so one hour delay actually increase 15 marks percentage 15% marks increase in the students for those students so as late as possible the, the school school colleges starts late so it's good for the students learning and memory and also sleep is very important for learning whatever they learn uh, the for whatever the storage in front of short term memory to long term the, the like in sleep only brain puts the most of the information from short term to long term so for the like sleep consolidate like uh, mem- like for example we talk about the memory consolidation so good sleep is good for good marks so in that way okay so yeah so this one of the study is in classical study so one hour late school opening actually increase 15% marks in the students so sleep is very important okay okay next is adolescents usually we all know that uh, okay uh, like there will be mood changes short like sometimes or automatically they'll be smiling talking nicely small thing what happens is they'll become sad they start crying so because also lot like a lot of hormonal changes happening in that so adolescents love start blossoming in puberty uh, like, like for example like, like interpersonal love and again peer pressure is us uh, my positive or negative peer pressure but then again uh, one uh, some of the important concept of adolescents and young adults and adults is calcium called egocentrism okay so egocentrism is a uh, phenomenon or as a concept where uh, like an adolescent or young adult think that uh, like other people other people are looking at them so most of the things that when they go they are in out they are in outside uh, like when with, with other people around there is one fan all, all those, this thing riding in their head that uh the like other people might be looking at me are looking at me they are evaluating me those so this becomes egocentrism uh, this, this this is one of the reason why they, like they spend more time in looking at themselves grooming themselves maybe make up or dressing up themselves because this egocentrism happening at the same time uh, it, it can also lead to uh, some paranoid kind of a thinking that okay some people are sorry uh, when some people are talking separately that they might there also might chances that they might think that adult people uh, like other people are thinking about them talking about them planning about them uh, so this kind of all happens 
so again uh, there's the like other concept is their feeling their like uh, their feeling is exclusive to them okay exclusive is called personal fable is a personal fable is egocentrism i spoke about other thing is personal fable whereas they uh, whatever happens to them whatever they are thinking whatever they are feeling whatever they are going through is unique to them like is they are not seen in other people okay and especially the especially more so with the adults so when especially that this is the reason they disagree with adults and think that adults don't understand them and also this is the reason many problems they don't tell adults for example what you come across problem adults are going through problems maybe bullying or uh, maybe uh, harassment or any serious problem emotion problem relationship problem breakups they don't tell parents or adults because they think they think adults don't understand them okay so, so this because of the personal fable if you look at it you don't understand it plus also happens this what happens is adolescence is a formation of identity time so identity I, I, like identity is being formed so how do you form identity that the identity is formed based on several things self esteem and all those thing that they do certain things and it works okay they have to do certain thing taking help will become difficult because the self esteem becomes according to them if taking help means they they cannot do something so the self esteem goes down so automatically naturally that because of this self esteem and identity issues they don't want to tell people they don't want to take help of people so any adolescents for example you will be dealing with ncc officers and all you'll be dealing adolescents so if they say that okay it's nothing okay no problem nothing we can handle we can handle so the think that okay is not that they 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 want to keep you out of it or they are they are, they are angry with you or they don't like you or anything but we imagine that they think that they have to solve the problem so when you are you if and all when you are approaching them for anything is you have to make sure that this belief of them should not go down don't don't undermine them do be don't be little them tell them oh you can't handle you you can't handle that much uh, okay you, you have to talk to help otherwise you can't handle so all this thing we should not talk to them so as much as possible you give the credits to them allow them to solve the problem okay and in case in case they can't solve problem if they want your help also and help in such a way that they their self esteem doesn't go down so they they'll retain their self esteem so sometimes we can we can also tell oh you just i'm just helping your mate like mainly whatever you did that you did it's you is based on your work and your effort your hard work so that is what you have to say so this because of all this personal fable and uh, identity issues so this part okay this parents also is parents also you have to think about that so other adolescents important adolescent aspect is a risk taking activity so if you look at all this thing adolescents are risk taking activity so they indulge in risk taking activity that is because of personal in invulnerability some concept called personal invulnerability that, that is for example whatever they do uh, nothing happens to them if any uh, there's no wrong happens to them and if you really ask them okay is there really that do you think that no harm happened to them they'll say it might happen but they have the ability to overcome for example if you going the speed what if the accident happen they will they, they might they will tell you yeah accidents will happen sure we know that but i have the more ability to over out escape from an accident i have the ability i have reflexes fast reflexes i have good eye hand motor coordination i'll navigate i'll go fast i have control so i i i'll be in more control i can control it and even if i fall i won't get injured because my bones are strong i'm i'll jump other thing all this thing is is called personal invulnerability due to this personal invulnerability they take more risks that part okay this is what you can see in the, all this risk at the same time you have to remember that risk all risk taking is not bad okay there risk taking is a normal phenomena in adolescents and uh, to some extent it should be encouraged uh, but again it uh, you have to you have to you have to make them aware about the risks and benefits blind risk taking rather than calculated risk taking so if at all you cannot stop them from taking us then like don't take a risk don't do this uh, they won't listen mainly most of most adolescents don't listen they want to do it they do it so what you have to teach them is what you have to train them is you have to teach them to take the calculated risk okay fine you want to do something check out the benefits and the benefits and the cost of it what are the chance of it going wrong so you take as much as possible you 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 you, you account for it so these are the calculated things uh, these are the things they have to take so you have to make them aware and accept and also follow the calculating the cost and benefit analysis in terms of whatever the activities they are going to take okay so a small example uh, i would like to tell you people okay 
So if you look at this as an example, then uh, uh, software. So how the brain functions. So here I want to introduce the brain functions again uh, so, uh, because I didn't want to put in so much brain and all. What has research has shown is we have something called uh, front, like different parts of the brain. Uh, I think if you can see me in the video, I'll show it to you. This is the frontal lobe. And the subcortical structure, this is the brain, the frontal lobe, and subcortical structure is within the brain here, inside, inside the brain. So what happens is, is the inside part of it, limbic system, whatever this is, they that will develop faster in human beings and growing. That will that will develop at least in, say for example, six, seven, eight years or like about like 10 years later, fully developed. But what is maximum part of it is the frontal lobe here, the front what part of it in the near forehead inside. It's called frontal lobe, prefrontal cortex. This the, that the prefrontal cortex controls all of our decision making, reasoning. What for example, what you see here, see here, this part, this part here. Okay, prefrontal cortex in the brain. It's, this part develops around. It takes about twenty years to develop fully. Okay, means not in terms of structural development, in terms of different neuronal connections. Brain it up. Brain has about billions of neurons, and the more the connection, the better the control. So, but here the whatever see reward central vent ventral striatum is a basal gastric cord structure. These are the emotional structure reward structures. Okay, so this is the controlling structure. Okay, this this says go, this says control. Basically, it's reasoning, problem solving, judgment, uh, so social reasoning, all those things is controlled by this. This is about speed and reward. Okay, I want this, I want that emotion, all those things. So this will develop. This would have developed by like say 10, 12, fully 13 years, but this will take long time. So what happens is when uh, whenever we say that uh, like uh, like adolescents, the age of adolescents is they having a car, a race car without brakes. So adolescence is a period where they are driving a race car without brakes. That's the whole thing. Okay, this is the basic of it. So how to control this? There is a reward center. For example, uh, when adolescent driving alone, say 18, 19, 20 years driving alone, uh, when yellow when yellow when yellow light comes, he stops. So nothing is activated in the brain. So as it is brain. But what happens when you must have seen that yellow line come, they'll rush away, they'll go fast. That rushing away, going fast on yellow light, not stopping there, that will that, that will activate the like reward center. So heightened activity in the reward center. So what happens is they get a, when the reward center is activated, they get the josh, they get the reward in the wow, cool. They'll feel like wow, cool, josh. The adrenaline, like the dopamine and all those things, reward center, they'll feel happy basically. Uh, I don't want to go too much into uh, biology and all those things it's called dopamine release they'll feel wow one fantastic fan all those things they'll feel because they went they they were sped past through the yellow light <laughs> what happens what happens now is the when the mother is sitting okay mother is sitting so if you look at the mother is sitting here uh because mothers act mother acts as a controlling factor okay she controls so here the like adolescent or the young adult job is basically to show to the mother basically what happens is when our parent or adults are sitting to show to them that okay fine i can control uh, I, I will exert control i can drive well and it's also you have to think about whenever the adults are sitting if uh, if, he's, if he doesn't drive properly the uh, like, the adults can take away the driving privileges the uh, mother may not allow him to drive again so that losing things so that yeah that all the things will be working in a sense so next time what happens when the yellow when yellow light comes when he stops so in the control center because control center get activated see the control center was not activated earlier this control because he stops here control center activated okay so but also he get the reward because he stops and will get the praise from the mother and he thinks mother will praise him appreciate him so his reward center also get activated Control center activated, for example, good, wow, very good, Shabash, mother met Shabash, reward center also activated. But however, this when the yellow light comes, he goes. Okay, look at this here, the reward center activated. But here, uh, yellow, center, yellow, yellow light, he goes, because mother is there, it's not activated. The reward center is not activated, because sort of, it's sort of, sort of punishment. When the mother was looking and he went, he didn't drive properly. So these are the uh, important things on the brain, how the brain functions. And if you look at the other aspect of the, uh, okay, if you look, okay, if you look at the other aspect, okay, other aspect of it is uh, how the peer pressure, remember I told about the peer pressure is very important in terms of it. When they are driving, adolescents driving alone in the car or young adults, you can say, driving alone in the car, uh, the, the driving risk, accident risk is normal. 
accept risk is normal okay but one more person sits next to the driver accident rate is by 2.5 times okay if two or more people sit in the car na nada team nada sun drive this is accident rate increases by three times so this is the important importance of the peer pressure in adolescence where <laughs> when the more people are there their decision making goes off for example uh, research has shown that adolescents can make decision as much as adults or young adults they can make good decisions when there are no peer pressure but whenever you put a peer into it their decision making changes because most of the time the decision making is suit suitable it suits to the people where among their peers whatever good for their peers that is that part of the decision takes over okay so some of the myths and truth i just thought because i'm talking about peer pressure i thought like how oh much i can put something about peer pressure here so peer pressure is an actual uh, myth is uh, can read up here uh, is ultimatum by friends during teen years uh no but it is not an ultimation but the person feels usually there will be both ways it's also usually without uh, ultimatum or without pressure also uh like uh, like, in, like individual uh like confirms to that starts from the beginning of the childhood only it's not only in teen years it's not an excuse to bad behavior uh it does not relieve the responsibility of the teens so, so it's not an excuse Uh, it comes only from friends no it can, can come from peer pressure can come from mail media friends and family to some extent okay is a way of kids to feel that they fit in okay uh, it's not only just fitting the kids kids who given to peer pressure experience a loss of individuality so because uh, individuality when the group in like the group mind whatever we talk about that will take over peer pressure is uh, considered as negative no it's not negative peer pressure is also a powerful tool to do the right thing so it works both ways depending on the type of peers if you have peers more peers with lot of uh, like negative aspects negative uh, uh, temperament negative personality uh, that kind of a thing so peer pressure can be negative but at the same time if you i identify with good peers the peer pressures can be positive so research again shown that children who change their friends in circle into peers in terms of peer uh, they behave as changes according to the the peer group so selection of peer group becomes very important okay so you can then tomorrow some because when you're talking with because you will be all the ncc officers and uh, you'll be at the time they like you will be in a position to influence the like adolescents or young adults so you can tell them actually uh, like uh, in terms of advising what type of peer group they can belong to okay uh i talk about little bit about uh, now it about uh, slightly about other issues i'll slightly going towards issue i'll talk about talking about uh, like adolescents and young adults what is the the things if you look at the like suicide risk for example uh suicide risk increases in adolescent there are two time period where uh, it's suicide risk is a bimodal uh, by peak two peaks in terms of normal curve one peak is sense of uh, like uh, like late adolescents and young adults so adolescents the suicide peaks and also in the old age in the old age uh, like 50 60 70s the suicide can increase so if you look at it here uh, this bottom graph here so age category if this blue the blue color this one is suicide one so if you can looking at it slowly increasing in terms of as the like like maybe mid adults and late adolescents increases is goes on increasing till the uh, about the 30 years young, young adults okay okay this is about the sort of uh, basic things i told about negative things not so much negative about all the aspects and all macan really perceived as negative but uh, some of the positive things also adolescents not some there's quite a bit of positive things also adolescents uh, what are main things are those are uh, like adolescents are the people who change the society who change the world if you look at the um, the many revolutions whatever happened in the past that has been drive, driven by the young, like adolescents and young adults okay not old people old people like me and all don't go don't go and protest on the road something is bad um, don't stand for something and we try to break like, for example okay do our job and uh, fine as much as possible what i am saying not is is not like individual person not like me or one one of you are like this, but generally so if you look at many marches many protests and all they'll be like adolescents and young adults will be standing in front of a Uh, police gun or uh, anything whatever it is 
so they are the people who actually go and fight and also if you look at the armies many armies and joining defense system armies and all is is adolescents and young adults who actually go and join them uh, at part so they'll be more in, interested they are they'll be more they feel more because the emotions already told you that uh, subconscious emotional centers are already high so they feel more think less slightly c- comparatively they feel more compared to their thinking ability so they feel more they feel more for the cause and also they feel more that they can change the world i'm already told about personal infallibility personal fable and all they think they can change the world and also they think they can they can solve the all problems of the world they think just they have to listen to adolescent they have solution to everything okay they feel that's what they feel they have solution to everything they they are, people listen to them governments listen to them society listens to them elders listen to them they can change the world okay so uh, they do feel it and given possible quite a bit also they can do okay so that part so this is a reason uh, again one to talk about it uh, armies and all their joining date was very less so like 15 years 16 years and all the armies defense uh, army navy air force and the joining age was less so one of the issue is who unicef and all wrote to the government especially wrote to indian government uh, on some some time back maybe a decade back and all to increase the joining age in the armed forces because when we talk about children we say that they don't uh, before 18 they can't think of, there's no informed con- we have to take informed consent from parents they can't vote and they can't marry all these things they say and they'll we'll may we'll allow them to make a choice about their future and career joining in the armed forces so that will be like anathema actually uh, it's sort of again some somebody can argue that is against the child rights to uh, allow them to join in a life changing something decision so early so because of this some of the some of the service requirements they advance the age to 18 years in the defense so in that part so many countries in the world also have done that some still i think has it to do yeah this is about their potential things uh and also one of the look at specific to india because this topic what we are talking about india uh so if, even what are if you look at the population india uh, india has the highest number of population in the world youth population in the world second definitely also second in terms of youth also it's second uh, second uh, country in the world with highest number of youth if you look at the for example percentage it's 27% india similarly you can find also bangladesh indonesia and mexico plus almost similar but they don't have the numbers as as much we have percentage wise is same almost but again highest one among highest but we learn to the per actual numbers if you look at like it goes to millions some so okay if you look at like 10 to 24 years old uh, so if you have 353 uh, millions in, in in the world is in india is there so uh, compared to the china is almost like 100 million less so how 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 this becomes important it all becomes important in terms of uh, uh, how much because you have the product uh, pro- the productive population okay these people are going to work okay they're going to work is a productive age group okay many many social economies actually they need people who work okay I mean, the people who work for the thing because not all age groups can work if you look at before uh, 18 17 15 16 17 18 years you suppose check technically they are studying they are not they are not working they are studying so they are not earning at the same time old people they cannot earn on their own okay so that will less so main the burden of uh, looking after economy actually falls on the youth and the young, young adults and adults so the highest number of youth here uh, young youth if you look at the uh, like demographic dividend how it will pay because of the young population of youth india if you look at india uh, can because 30 the people who call this people can work till can like uh, reap the dividend till to, 2055 when compared to the japan here uh, when compared to the japan uh, already that uh, that like, the dividend is for over in the 2004 italy is 2002 so many countries already is sort of finishing they'll finish fast but indians dividend continue to grow till na 2000 like 55 uh, because the population is young okay so uh, continue to the population of countries again if you look at it we all know that uh, india's population is increasing is projected to increase even further if you look at 2040s and all is going to increase other countries going to slowly come down okay china is also going to decrease but the population is going to increase that part india if you look at this going to increase uh 
okay that's coming to the now issues and the challenges uh, the same because of we are so much population here uh, it also can work uh, depend upon the it can also work as a pub, it can also work as a boon and it can also work as a bane depending upon how do we handle this growing this high number of population uh, so if it's handled well it can be a boon if it's not handled well it can be a bane okay so issue with the plenty so there's some of the pictures most of the pictures have taken the uh, internet here so i don't know i don't have a copyright this is make to make it interesting because only text doesn't come make interesting because of numbers whatever i talked about the positive points it's also somehow can be a negative point to some extent because we have, we all know that unemployment is there but some of them may not know about underemployment unless you're economic underemployment is where this uh for example if one person job is done by five people or even two people three people it's underemployment so what one person can say for example one person can fill uh, he, like he can till a uh, field of one acre in like two days uh, but at the same time that uh, five people will do it in two days is an is an underemployment so it is not productive to the society per se they are having employment but not productive to the society so this concept is underemployment so in, in like india both we have uh, an unemployment also and a huge underemployment poverty but we all know this poverty is also there because of over utilization of natural resources and per some of the things people say a uh, question of uh, poverty poverty is like poverty under an unemployment and is not a problem because it's india actually say indian agriculture india the like geography can can support two times or three times of this population is the proper uh, uh, agriculture like that machines are used and proper distribution of wealth is of so uh, this pop this problem won't be there at all so however that's all debatable in that part so if you look at the unemployment rate it's about 8% as of now 7 to 8% is almost going there for covid we all know that currently it's unemployment increased and again it came back again to about 8% it's also growing about 8% we are also talking about 8 point something 8 to 9% if you look at this in the age over the age uh, this one it's a huge percent huge uh, uh, population population hard and 30 crores hard and 30 crores and 10% of 8% of unemployment is a huge uh, it's actually the unemployment rate may be equal to some of the country's population itself so uh, you can't take country forward unless you address the uh, like unemployment and because unemployment is directly associated with poverty okay if you look at the uh, india's poor here so how many people are poor it's clearly written okay and but it actually reduced if you look at it in 9, 2005 2005 and 6 55% 55 was under under the power they considered as poor but in 15 16 it's reduced to 20, just 28% oh, in that time. in terms of uh, number affect actually 635 million were considered as poor in 5 and 6 and again in 15 and 16 after 10 years is only 3 364 million even though substantial half most half reduce of the population in terms of poverty is still a very high substantial number if you look at this so the in terms of poor uh, you can look at how many people are there at that in terms of a distribution per se wealth distribution i didn't want to go too much about it because going to economics and not actually so wealth is uh, i didn't want to put the graph also so much so wealth is uh, like unequally distributed if you look at it in recently i just saw that about uh, 50% of the wealth in us is owned by only top few p percentage of the people one or two percent of the people so wealth is unequally distributed so uh, i'm i'm we don't know how to go about it is obviously also has both uh, positive and negative aspect uh, but again it's uh, not our uh, economics people who are economics they can deal with it but it will have repercussion in terms of society uh, again poverty i just mentioned few thing one of the important thing what we can think about is because of the highest number of population it is the popul the more the population growth the use usage of the natural resources will increase okay uh, for example already already put it okay the uh, utilization of over utilization of natural resources if you look at this for the roads and all amenities urbanization will increase the, the tree cover will decrease uh, the tree cover so that will cause the 
that like that this will have a lot of negative effects for example when the roads and the construction thing happening there'll be more chance of uh, uh, you, you you must some of you will stay in the like more mountainous region you know that actually what happens and the like avalanches happen land erosion soil erosion so all this happens because the road and dev- was kind of a development recently in 2014 the like uttarakhand disaster also to some extent it they, people have started telling it's a man made disaster because the too much of encroachment into nature in terms of building roads and uh, houses and all those things again is debatable how much you have to uh, you can like development at a cost of nature or nature at the cost of development uh, how to go about it is always there's no one answer for it but there are going to be repercussion for example uh, like tree cover decreases that will increase the c- carbon dioxide in the atmosphere more pollution if what you you might be knowing about now delhi haryana and punjab area there's a lot of air pollution that is causing to lot of uh, like asthmatic diseases respiratory diseases tuberculosis and lung problems and research is telling that more people are dying out of it so this are all you can't directly pinpoint okay this is because of this but this are all the you can uh, say that yeah because of air pollution all this might be happening so uh, in terms of tree cover india is one of the country which according to the uh, a population and according to the area is one of the less uh, it form because in the lower end of the tree cover Uh, if you look at this uh, like carbon sink and carbon uh, sink it's in india it's an opposite one it's a carbon rich uh, like carbon dioxide high in that so yeah forest loss you can look at the kasoda i mentioned here so if you look at forest loss in terms of million hectares is increasing to 16 actually it was low earlier as if you look at the development happening more people are coming you can more forest cover is uh, going okay that's in terms of uh, population uh, other important issue apart from the unemployment underemployment affecting the like youth is substance abuse so uh, again it's nothing new in this aspect so substance abuse you all know that if you look at it, this might come as a came to me as a surprise also if you looked at the num- uh, highest consumption of cannabis india stands third after us and uh, pakistan india stands third in terms of cannabis use in terms of metric tons so it's quite huge and if you look at again scale of substance abuse in india so alcohol is takes the highest uh, first rank in terms of uh, how much it is so in terms of use uh, this brown color is used in uh, but the red color orange color is the harmful use almost dependence in terms of where is they, they become addicted to it so if you look at this uh, is quite a bit of uh, uh, population look at it so this is a cannabis uh, opioid and sedatives and the cocaine and other amphetamines so quite high so if you again look at this part actually uh, alcohol number of uh, people in some states who consume alcohol in a harmful dependent way uh, up and some of the states in terms of state wide distribution uh, these are the states we look at up and andhra goes highest in tamil nadu now the least like uh, this is topped and least as quite low in terms of it okay so these are the states uh, again highest consumption if you look at uh, the prevalence rate is increases the, the darker color darker the color the more prevalent if you can look at it again uh, delhi delhi haryana punjab and uh, those areas okay uh, again highest one of the highest again the northeast the uh, highest uh, consumption of like uh, opiates use so uh, you must have known that kind recently like uh, again punjab and uh, what it is some of the things here 18 to 35 years old 76% take it so again 21% of them farmers so different different uh, population dynamics it is quite a bit most common are opioids here are in use and also the reason why they consume this becomes important uh, and, and percentage of women is increasing 5% almost currently that in terms of uh, addiction and also if you look at why they do it 39% curiosity 43% peer pressure and 6 70% for fun so some small part of is for example mental health 5% and 10% physical health so this part also is there at crossroads that means the society when the society is developing uh, earlier it was agrarian society agriculture and traditional joint family system patriarchal system now it's a globalization industrialization urbanization now it's a more than industrialization in terms of software in terms of like 
like earlier it was service oriented and manufacturing so earlier it was agriculture oriented and manufacturing oriented but now it's become the service oriented society so we have at the same time india is sort of dual economy you you find the uh, all extreme you have find the rockets also and bullock carts also at the same time you find the like, like uh, tallest structure for example and immediately next to it you can find the slum so a lot of uh, thing at the same time you can find the audis and uh, bmws on the road at the so people pushing the bullock cart and everything is a both mixed economy so because it's mixed economy lot of uh, things is like still have, have is not going to be easy a uh, lot of differences can happen can ha- happen because in, in terms of uh, how the dynamics in changes family dynamics relationship dynamics or uh, job dynamics uh, financial dynamics everything changes for example at the same time adolescent for example young adolescents in the family he wa- he or she wants to work also and at the same time he also wants his spouse to also work and earn so that the financial condition will be stable but in the both both people are working that comes in a difficulty who will look after the child who will look after the parents and uh, how much equality what can be done because lot of issues are came I mean, joint families are slowly going Uh, and this be replaced with a nuclear family it has its own merits and demerits will get a lot of individuality but risk in terms of risk uh, in terms of more responsibility will be more so this like society is at the crossroads again is going back and forth uh, in terms of equality i think so that 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 is still have to be think about whether to go forward or go backward this again we go forward and backward again depending on the policies depending on the economic policies political policies this lot of tugger war is going between how to go what to do so that part is again the challenges now uh, current scenario uh, socio political socio political scenario and currently other types in terms of equality diversity inclusion we all know that there are different kinds of people or different being how much how much equality should be, uh, that they are getting how much equality are people expecting given or society is given that also mat- matters so each person if for example different types of person if you look at this uh, uh, different all expect individuality so society is changing in that way okay uh, education literacy is slowly increasing if you look at the graph is uh, like every 10 years uh, is slowly increasing in the last census so if you look at still but if you look at this compared to the male female women they well, women literacy is still not less significantly less okay about like about 10 to 15% less you can look at this yeah it's about 17 to 17% less <clears throat> which is quite high any any changes like this it doesn't allow society to be equal society okay so that's a, that that is a challenge face society when our society is not equal our society is dealing uh, inequality is more different terms of poverty in terms of anything education in terms of rights where whenever there's inequality there's going to be a problem uh, so in economics there's a saying that poverty is a threat to prosperity everywhere okay so you cannot uh, you, you cannot have a prosperity uh, with with poverty with you know, like inequality you it might be today but in future it's not going to be there's going to be different so if you look at the this this thing is one of the literacy rates and this has this gap has to be bridged again some of the other illiteracy india challenges india has the one of the highest number of illiterate uh, if you look at adults 287 million which is the highest in the world okay about 40% of adult illiterates live in india uh, again it talks about uh, 91 to 2001 so if you look at urban and rural difference is still quite if you look at the uh, rural female with urban female it's, uh, it's quite still if you look at 2000 level data is lot of differences still, still pending even the male also it's quite male is not so much but female is quite high in terms of the difference uh, so this again creates inequality uh, part why am why am stressing inequality here is this okay you have to you have to talk about education and inequality what happens if the person is not educated okay this is the challenge to the society you can some some usually what happens is okay some they will do uh, if not educated they'll drop out of school and college so what happens is they will join uh, they won't get the uh, so called uh, the cushy job or high paying job or the good, or a decent job or salary whenever there is no job or decent paying salary and other things there is already discrimination 
okay so the person because of not able to study maybe various reason okay various reason it can be because they might have specific learning disability or there are no schools or there is no toilet there are no teachers okay they are not teaching properly language was different or the parents were migrant workers they're moving from one place to other place so they can't send the children to school so what will happen is these children or whoever it is are not able to study because of not able to study is clearly their 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 the income and economic economics and because income and standard of living automatically it get affected now we all know the uh, studies are impo- studies are important for good uh, fi- finances salary and also standard of living it's not that people who don't study they don't get the they don't get good standard of living but more or less yes in compared to majority of the thing studies is equivalent to good standard of living job good job better job better standard of living so what happens to the people who don't study who drop out of school okay there is this kind of happens they can work hard and somehow be, become middle class and other things because so other things what they say is one of the sociological theory is delinquent subculture okay delinquent subculture people who are not study people who are not able to go to school for whatever reasons because of that they don't get respect from the society because uh, they don't get to play with the other children who are so called going to school and so called like middle class or higher social economic status so the difference is maintained so the society treats the people who are not studied poverty people poorly they don't respect they don't give importance they don't trust society doesn't trust them so they have this becomes like within one culture this you you treating them differently so what happened is children who are not study children who are difficult drop out of school or uh, they can this one of the chance for them they can, they they have they belong they go and join a culture or group or gang whatever it is that propagates the del- we can all put it as a delinquent subculture they have their own culture this what is this culture this culture becomes the, the hatred towards the majority culture okay this society didn't give us didn't didn't respect me didn't respect it didn't give me enough resources for didn't like didn't this society doesn't trust me so what happens is all these people they form together it's like i'm um, this conceptual basically form together you can see it also in gangs and all the other things so they will they will have disdain to the the majority culture disdain their anger antipathy hatred So that they use the culture, not that they would they'll ditch the culture and go away have a separate this one. They won't have separate. They interact with it, but at the same time, the whatever the majority's culture, majority society, majority culture thinks is good. For example, uh, values, truth, honesty, uh, not cheating, working hard, all those things. These values, these delinquent people in the delinquent subculture don't respect. Values held high, moral values, ethical values held by. Uh, uh like majority subculture this uh, people who are poor and uneducated illiterate this chance of them respecting the culture is very very less okay and even in for can form to the government if you look at it what happens in the other thing it becomes a learned helplessness for example okay if i complain nobody will look if anything happens to me bad where will i go complain nothing will happen like because government government uh, official administration mechanism all those thing listens to only majority culture so they will have their own culture so that is why you you see some of the gang activities rowdyism uh, like for example decoities like for example murdering rape killings gang uh, all those thing violence uh, communal violence all those thing can be because of this so as long as the poverty is there as long as people there are more uneducated people uh, more illiterate people and people who don't get a job so this chance of clashes is going to going to be there going to continue unless the gap is reduces okay so other part is the mental illness and stress and uh, depression suicide so if you look at the this age again I mean uh, youth is the youth is the time where majority of the mental health condition starts for example depression starts at the engage the youth and basically for example ocd obsessive compulsive disorder what do we say schizophrenia what do we say it start at this age if you look at this uh, is the number of years here uh, it starts at this age and and more than in it more than all these things one of the alarming uh, issue is the mental illness especially the depression other mental especially distress and depression anxiety is increasing day by day if you look at it like see so the graph is going in terms of uh, uh like increasing population so 
it's increasing day by day depressive 16 to 80 16 to 19 years old and 20 to 21 year old is high it's going because in terms of earlier it was less and now it's also not only because increasing high but also people are recognizing it high and coming out also but invariably if all this taken account also this depression and anxiety stress are increasing in the day like day by day because of the uh, like in terms of whatever already mentioned about the atmosphere work atmosphere stress uh that like uh, the population is more and uh, too much stress in the work okay it's a like too much pressure to work and too much demand too much competition and if you look at uh, for like, every job they have more people so ready to be there are people to work for lesser salaries so you can't even question much because it can be easily replaced if you don't do well if you don't do if you don't uh, work properly so that part is there so is increasing now if you look at the depression is quite uh, high in actually if you look at it again uh, distracted anxiety loneliness if you look at boys and girls so increasing again age group i've talked look at the between the 16 to 40 years old it's quite depression is quite anxiety is quite high so it's increasing there's going to be the future burden of disease uh, yeah. so because of depression there will be loss of product, productivity also for like a lot of uh, mental health issues also happen again we all know the depression and suicide risk are very high uh, the more the mental health higher the depression so like, like more, the mental health, more the mental health problems higher the suicide and uh, if you look at global average in india india if you look at indian suicide rates are higher than the global if you look at only the 2016 data here, if you look at the global here, 15% and 17% men and women. If you look at uh, India, it's 21% for male and 14% for female. It's quite high. And you also look at the India share in world's population. If you look at the recent data, just just ignore this this part. Let's just look at this data. World India share of world population. In 2016, about 17, 18% of suicide is uh, in India. And like of a world suicide happened in India. So it's very, very high. So in terms of that, some of the reason, if you want to look at the why suicide happens, percentage share, uh, the same data as different, different data sets, but I put it for a graphical representation, not to bore you. If you look at family problems and other illnesses, uh, but other thing, failure in exam, unemployment, drug addiction, uh, low affairs, marriage related issues, all young people sort of. If you look at several major, substantial number of the issues can be, can be reduced if the proper, inputs are given to them in small in terms of state wise uh, 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 and suicides that addiction and suicide i'll just put it here so just, all right okay other thing is relationship issues i think i have time up to go a little bit far now uh, normal issues of relationships dating adjustments fight issues happens in this age again boundary issues happen how much uh, uh, what are the boundary issues how much they can do can't do because like changing social dynamics now so relationship will happen long term relationship long distance relationship other issue fidelity is coming now because of uh, if you look at all the dating apps like the uh, right swap left swap and not getting the name of the app so yeah so for example tinder and all those things a lot of fidelity issues are coming up breaking ups is happening uh, and the dating marital intimate partner violence is also coming on research recent research study said that it's not only male that uh, it's not physical abuse not only happening with male both are both are perpetrating almost equal women and boy, boys and girls also intimate partner violence other issue is the body body image issues obesity issues if you look at uh, obesity is increasing globally for example 2013 14 if you increase if you look at this uh, age is 12 to 19 is 21 percent i'll just slightly away so if you look at the difference between 96 and 16, okay, 20 years line, the the, the well, obesity is darker the obesity. The, some of the population slowly, if you look at uh, people, populations are becoming more obese and day by day. Uh, India is, I think, is not nothing slowly catching up. Look at, for example, India is again, uh, percentage is high compared to that. So India, they say about one in, uh, one in four Indians are uh, overweight. So... Sorry, one not one in one like uh, three in four are overweight in terms of this age group. Okay, other issue is the internet and social media addiction. So if you look at uh, people say can't live without internet, India tops about it. Eighty-two percent say on survey, India can't live over things. Again, smartphone is India is not caught up yet so much. So it's uh, there something. So internet addiction is one of the important thing. If again look at the young age group, if you look at junior high school students, senior high school, senior students working, 
So these are the population, you can say quite a bit of uh, internet addiction. Again, Facebook, if you look at the age group about uh, 18 to 25, this constitute again like quite a high percentage of, uh, even if you consider this as high percentage in terms of in internet addiction. Identity issues, uh, okay, little bit I thought about identity is, uh, uh, I thought I'll tell, but I can have to skip here because of time packing. I didn't, gender is different than uh, uh, like gender, whatever we are born with. Uh, biological sex determined via maleness, femaleness, but we don't have to. Identity is determined by brain, attraction, all those things. These are all differences. So the, because of recent thing, if I talk about is coming out uh, like LGBT use people with the alternate sexual thing is people are expressing more about bisexual and uh, also like for the gender fluidity so people are talking about it people you people all have to be aware about uh, lgbtq issue gender fluidity issues gender flexibility issues now again other issues are underage sex teen pregnancy casual and multiple partners so they had to be take <clears throat> way forward how do you go way forward uh because i've addressed some economic risk economic to psychological to gender and the biological things so some of the things i'll Distribution of the resources uh, as much as possible, not under our control, not in your control also. But I just had to mention, <coughs> education is good. The more more we educate people, that is better. And I'm talking about other things also. Education increases the, reduces the delinquency, re 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 reduces the, you know, reduces the violence, reduces the negative things, inc decreases the population also, reduces the suicide, increases, increase, betters the mental health. Mental health that part uh, for, for some children education is not proper is not possible mainstream education for them because they'll have learning disability and all those things for them vocational education should be given as early as possible i i even if somebody asked me if possible i'll say even like start from eighth standard also some impossible because many children drop out early because they cannot fit into the school you can start vocational education early in the villages small rural, rural areas towns mm -hmm. so children they can educate they can do some get gainful employment job creation so i don't have to say that we all know this other issues uh, like adolescents and youth is uh, volunteering activities so uh, then they don't 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 have job and not doing anything what in india uh, many countries has volunteering thing they can volunteer for an activity experience job experience and other things so india doesn't have actually that they have to they can develop volunteering kind of a thing again equality we can start about the more more equal equality in terms of it so if you look at the, again, spending on education, which is very less, 2.9% in 16 compared to other countries. Uh, so education spending can be increased. Is also I told about higher education, children. If you look at the child, people who are class, like more than 12, a graduate education, women, women, the population actually, the childbearing ability decreases. So it, that also can be one of the thing. Again, percentage share of in terms of, you look at the suicide. <clears throat> Which this graph shows that higher the suicide, for higher the education, lesser the suicide. If you look at graduate and above, less suicide. So it works in many aspects. So risk factors for suicide, I put it, I'll skip it because of you know, this part. And adolescents and youth, what we can do, respect them, give them responsibility. You treat them as a, a equal, a known person. You give them enough scope. If they make mistakes, it's okay. They're learning about it. Without mistakes, nobody will learn. So when they make mistakes, give them chance, like uh, allow them to come up, give them one more chance, allow them to come up. And just, you have to understand them, understand their problem. Look from their point of view, put yourself in their shoes, not in the other shoes, why they are thinking the way they are thinking, why they are behaving the way they are behaving, what might be happening, happening in their atmosphere, family, friend circle, you understand their part. Establish a rapport, don't, uh, don't control, because I know that as NCC officers, you might have a lot of responsibility. You might uh, uh, you might have to be like uh, establish discipline, maintain discipline. But at the same time, don't maintain discipline for the sake of discipline. Okay, uh, don't maintain order or rules for the sake just sake of it. So you can go beyond that also. Establish a rapport and part. Early identification of the problem is good. Identify any candidate or any any NCC cadet as showing any differences, emotional differences. Emotional problems, not talking well, sad, looking sad, not coming properly, not dressed properly. So identify the problems so you can identify a child or uh, adolescent. And communication and discussions are very important. How do you communicate to them? Again, I already told you, no, like not as a position as officers, okay? 
you can try to i know it's difficult to be exactly like adolescent but as much as possible the uh, the uh, the the younger you approach to the younger you be in terms of their your behavior and uh, interaction with them the more they discuss uh, their problems and issues with you again any issues happen solve the prob- problem try to solve the problem when when them and there where it is whatever using the problem solving model because of lack of time i'll don't i'm skipping this uh, you can the society needs a good role model for everything uh, in terms of uh, big big stalwarts so small small people uh, anybody is so okay lecturer or ncc officer they need role model the more role better for the thing so you can become a good role model for them more and more associations are good uh, for example scouts guide ncc nss uh, the like higher number it is so people the research has shown that ad- like adolescents young adults who associate themselves with uh, in, in any of the groups and association their problem behavior reduces they'll study more they get good grades and the mental health will be better so the more ad- like, the more they associate with any group association or even community services uh or recreation service so the mental health will be good and better and sometimes you can in- include some adventure activities some children who are born risk takers more they take more risk than usual so for them you can introduce adventure activities uh, so this also to some extent controlled also like, like for example i don't know chimla for example climbing activities river rafting or anything so they also get adventure also and also it will be supervised this is better than unsupervised the uh, drug intake and alcohol become all those things so again uh, specific education programs can be given to the teenage pregnancy or gender violence or bullying Uh, or any or any other issues as part so i'll stop at this thank you